Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Tuesday, May 28th, 2019 love reading. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what you guys have going on for Tuesday. All right, nice. First card out is the Nine of Cups. Feeling pretty good today, Air Signs. The person that you are dealing with is the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. The energy coming in for you guys. What is coming in for our air signs? All right, the moon in reverse. So, some things could be exposed, some um, emotions could be uh, being ignored. Whoa. All right, your advice for today is the three of pentacles and the outcome is the two of wands in the reverse your guys is bottom of the deck and shared energy is the knight of swords clarified with the six of pentacles in the reverse and the chariot in the upright all right so with your shared energy, you are coming in and you are coming in very quickly telling the truth or they are to you. Um, I do see this more than likely as being you um, coming in very fast, letting somebody know what has been going on, why you've been feeling out of balance and that you're wanting to move forward out of this connection. You're wanting to move forward single. Um, Yeah, there could have been um, somebody else or something else that was distracting you from this relationship, throwing you out of balance. But the energy that was coming in was not as good as, as coming out, or was not as good, was not equal to what was going out. So um, I do feel this is you, however, because you are feeling pretty good about this. You're coming in very confident um, with your decision, with that Nine of Cups. You're, uh, you could be waiting on somebody to tell uh, their partner this as well. And they are coming in telling the truth about how, why the energy has been the way it is and that they are moving on from their partner. And that is making you very happy um, that they are finally coming forward and telling the truth about how they feel. Yeah, temperance. So patience, my friends. But um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius or Aries but um, you see this person as somebody who is a divine counterpart to yours you're wanting to come together with this person this person is your earth angel is how you feel like there's something special between the two of you um, and you are happy that they are finally moving away from their other person and and speaking their truth if this is you um, coming in with this truth of of the third party or the situation that you are moving away from um, you are you are patiently going to um, hold off before you move forward you're gonna allow some time for um, healing some balance between yourself um, your emotions your your thoughts before you move forward. But for the majority of you, I feel you're waiting on somebody that needs to deliver this information to their partner. Um, the person you're dealing with is very, uh, very, like they have their life in order, they have plans, they know what they want. There you go. They know what they want and they know how to get it. Why is the emperor here for their person? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, <clears throat> sorry, my throat chakra is closing all of a sudden. Okay, so this emperor, the person that you are dealing with, could be an Aries, like I said, but they're getting their life back in order. They're taking control of their life. They were in a situation um, where they were sharing their energy between you and their other person. You knew this. Um, you were just waiting for them to move out of this connection. They're coming in. They're coming in very fast. 
They're um, letting the secret out about how they feel about their other person. They're no longer keeping secrets about what was done behind the dark, you know, in the darkness um, to of somebody that they are already connected to. They could, it could be a Taurus, um, but this is somebody that they had a, a connection with, um, like a marriage or um, a long-term commitment, but they're letting them know about this third party. They're no longer keeping the secret from their spouse about this third party um, because they're wanting to take back control of their life. They know that they're not in their highest vibration in their current situation. This could be a twin flame situation that the two of you are dealing with. I have six of cups at the bottom of my clarifying deck, the emperor um, and temperance. So very much could be a, a twin flame situation, but they are leaving their person. And this is, once again, making you very happy. You feel now that the two of you can come together. The two of you can allow your souls to um, to come back together to... Wow. Holy cow, air signs. Look at all this major arcana you have. All right. So the energy that is coming in for you two. Secrets are no longer being kept. The emotions that you guys feel for each other no longer have to be only voiced in the darkness. Um, the light is being shed. The path is being illuminated for the two of you to come forward and to not worry about having to keep this a big old secret anymore because they are making a choice. They are choosing love and they are choosing to take a leap of faith with you. Um, this could be you, Gemini. It could be a Gemini and an Aries once again, but it doesn't have to be. But no longer keeping the secrets of how you feel for each other, allowing the universe to know that we're taking a leap of faith together. They're making a choice. Remember, these energies can be vice versa. So if you're the one with the choice, you're moving away from a, um, a spouse or a long-term person, moving right into a very blessed union. Um, once again, this most definitely could be a soulmate or twin flame that we are dealing with. But this is a big, this is big energy coming in for you, Air Science. This is huge. I mean, no longer having to hide the, the fact that the two of you are together they're finally making a choice or you are and taking that leap of faith no longer they're throwing caution into the wind spirits advice for you guys is to continue to work on the connection continue to work hard together um, ending this third party situation and allowing that third party to be a source you know your holy trinity you your partner and the holy spirit working hard and um, creating building a new life um, the two of you. Why is this three pentacles here for advice? Just keep working on this connection. Um, why is the three of pentacles here? Thank you. All right. So, wow. Take action. Spirit's advice is to move forward to take the reins to start building this connection, to start building this relationship um, with the divine, with each other. Take action, lead with your heart, listen to what your heart is telling you. Um, Queen of Pentacles, nurture the, each other, um, have faith in each other. It may not be an easy road, but it's going to be worth it. But most importantly, lead with your heart. Don't overthink anything. Take action and lead with passion is what your advice is. The outcome of this, if the advice is taken, is no longer being stuck at that crossroads. This is picking a path, um, figuring out which path for you is which, what is best, um, picking the path that is going to give you the opportunity to um, create a whole new world for yourself and your person. The outcome is going to shake up somebody's life. Whoever the person is that has a choice, they have to allow this tower to fall within the other relationship before they can make their way towards you so the outcome is going to be an emotional shakeup um when a path is picked because one of those rods is getting released um it's only going to be two of you on this path um let's get one more for that tower yep they up to this point they weren't seeing the blessing in the pain you have grown so much since in in um lieu to this pain or whoever it was the one that was left um or whoever the one was the third party. Um, this is big though. Whoa. This is big though. This is uh, finally taking a turn down the path 
that you have been waiting for. And you have been very patient because you knew the divine would answer your prayers. You knew this connection was something special. So you've been patiently waiting for your prayers to be answered. And that is exactly what is going on here with that. One more here for our outcome because you have so many major arcanas. Um, yeah, you're going to get a message from this person. Um, they're not going to have a whole lot to give you out in the beginning, but they're going to offer you everything they can and ask you to walk that path with them as well. Um, let's see here. This came out first. Wait a minute. The chariot came out second, didn't it? Okay. All right, so somebody has a choice, as we know. Um, the Knight of Swords, like I said, they're coming in very quickly, letting um, whoever know that this major life cycle is coming to an end. The tens in your minor, minor arcana are small um, chapters ending. Um, the world card is a major life cycle ending. So end of a career, end of a... Um, you know, moving locations, um, you know, divorce, those are all your major life cycles. So they're coming in telling the truth about how they are ending a major life cycle. Um, they were honest with their person saying the reason why the energy was so out of balance was due to a third party, a mistress. Um, but they're also telling them that they're wanting to create a life, a new life with this person to bring their life back into balance. Um, and they are moving forward to that single energy, um, moving out of a partnership, moving forward, becoming single, investing in their own life, investing in their education, their own happiness. They're just raising their vibration, preparing for the um, coming together of the two of you because they are coming in at their highest vibration. Like I said, this can be a twin flame connection. It does not have to be, however, um, with these cards, though, it does have a big sign saying very well possible. Um, but it, at the very least, this is somebody that this group of you that is resonating with, this is a, a life partner, um, somebody that's coming in for you to create a whole new world. So, all right, guys, a lot of major arcana, a lot of changes coming in for you guys. Um, but they're good, big, happy, positive changes that are going to lead you to your wishes and prayers being answered. So, all right, Air Science, have a beautiful Tuesday. God bless.